right, welcome back. We are here at Section 6 Mountain Home, and we've got with us today Denise Shelby and uh, Jason Cates from the Fayetteville Vet Center mm -hmm. over here from Northwest Arkansas. So welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Mm -hmm. um, so what's happening over with the... Well, right now, in a few minutes, we've got to run back to our Quilts of Valor event. We're giving out 25 Quilts of Valor today, uh, having a big dinner afterwards. So we're all dressed nice and spiffy just for that. And then tomorrow, um, over at Good Sam at 2 o'clock, I'm going to give a class on information that we have for the Fayetteville Vet Center and the counseling services that we do up here in Mountain Home. I come up here on the first and third week every month, and I have a group that I run for PTSD support as well as a spouse group on Thursdays, and then I can see people individually as well for counseling. Yeah. What, are some of the, what are some of the needs of the local people here? You talk about P PTSD. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that common for, for all people in the military or just... Um, well, with PTSD, yeah. it's not just a military diagnosis. It's individuals that go through any kind of a traumatic event mm -hmm. okay. that can be diagnosed with PTSD. So it's not just our veterans that have it. It's, you know, people out in the community right. as well. So. And it could, it could be any kind of trauma. It mm -hmm. could be mental You could trauma. see trauma and you could still see it, get yes. PTSD. Right. Okay. So it's not so, something that's just war-related. So people may have a, a, a specific idea of what it is. It, mm -hmm. it, do you help them with that diagnosis, or do they have to go to a we physician? We help them or? with the reintegrating back in the community, coming okay. home from service, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. With, you know, it's not just the younger guys. Most of my guys that I see up here are Vietnam era veterans. Right. And it's, you know, learning to cope now that they've retired, learning new coping yeah. skills on how to, you know, reintegrate back into everyday living, not having yeah. problems going to Walmart, mm -hmm. not having problems going out in the community where some people do still have those issues. So not having a facility here doesn't mean that they don't have access not at all. to I'm here, help. I'm here twice a month. Okay. I spend two days up here a month, or two days every week, well, every other week, yeah. a month up here. Mm -hmm. And it's as simple as just calling me to get you know okay. to get a hold of me, and we can schedule to get you in. We see combat veterans and military sexual trauma victims. Um, we're kind of selective on that. It's not just any veteran that walks in. You know, it has to be a combat veteran. So that's, you know, the one stipulation we have, sexual trauma and combat veterans. We can see people with all, all characteristics of discharges as well. So okay. even if, you know, even if they have a bad conduct discharge, we can still see them. Okay. So it's not limited to who's able to be seen do on you, that. Do you deal with other health issues other than? A lot of what I do here is not specifically geared toward one symptom or symptomology. Okay. It's whole life. It's whole surrounding life. your okay. whole life. It's making sure that, you know, your family's doing good, you're doing right. okay, you know, getting in the community is being okay. It's just making sure that, you know, you're getting readjusted back to life. Okay. And, you know, whereas before, before you went to overseas or any of that, you know, things may have been fun. You may have had your mm -hmm. kids that wanted to come sit mm -hmm. on your lap and play and you were okay with that. Whereas you come home from something like that and you may not be as okay with that happening anymore yeah. due to yeah. traumas you've seen. Yeah. So it's helping them get back to, you know, everyday life, trying to help them do and it, that. And is it part of their veteran services, or is there a charge it, for them to If you sign involved? that contract, you are able to come into okay. our door free of charge. We do not charge for your counseling whatsoever. I come up here, the people I see, I see them. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. They don't now, have wh to Where's your facilities at We are located area. in Fayetteville. We are, uh, what is it, 1416 College Avenue on okay. Fayetteville. And do they make appointments to go there at times, too? Can they go back and forth? They can. They can? Okay. If they'd rather be seen in Fayetteville, which is okay. kind of a long drive just right. to come for a one-hour yeah. counseling visit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I come out here twice a month. And if there are people in need of services, by all means, call me. Make an appointment, you know, with me. Okay. I can sit with them out here. I do, you, do you go to them, or do they come to you at a certain location? Right we now, need to get that information Right out. now, my group that I have for Wednesday is over at uh, St. Peter the Fisherman at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then I also have a spouse group on Thursdays at St. Peter the Fisherman at noon. Mm -hmm. So, and and then is, is it all group therapy or do you do No, I also see individuals and that's just, you know, as needed. People that mm -hmm. need appointments, they mm -hmm. can get a hold of me and I can set them up with a time where I can meet them somewhere, whether it's at the CBOC, because I have a room that I can use at the CBOC, or, you know, even if it's meeting them at the church after a group or something, mm -hmm. I can always find time and somewhere to meet with them. 
Jason, we don't want to leave you out. Do uh, uh, <laughs> you want to talk about what your functionality is when you well, come over this way? I, too, am a readjustment counselor, and actually I'm, I'm coming out to Mountain Home today in support of the Quilts of Valor. And quite frankly, Denise went ahead and just about nailed it all. I don't have much <laughs> to go ahead and add, really. Sorry. You know, so, and she does great work out here, and we hear nothing but great things about her, so. Okay. Glad to have her out here. Right. Well, we're, we're glad that this, this uh, service is here because we do have yeah, a lot of I veterans people, in this area. If they're interested in under, you know, understanding what we do or where we are tomorrow over at Good Samaritan at 2 o'clock in their little room okay. where they have their meetings, that's where we'll be talking about the services we provide. All and, right. Yeah. And if they can't come tomorrow but they're interested, they are more than they? welcome to call me at the Vet Center. And the number there is 479-582-7152. I had to think there for a second. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, we appreciate you coming by, and uh, we know you got to get back to yeah. that event. So, uh, thanks so much for taking Thank the time for out for us. us. We appreciate it. And if you have any information that you or if you'd, you'd like to contact, uh, uh, we'll have more information at the end of the show. Thanks so much. Thank you so thanks much for having time, guys. Uh, yeah, up next we have Debbie Reeves and Enoch Pepin. We're going to be talking about the Kiwanis uh, Safety Fair. I think I, I've Child got a little blur on the thing. Child yeah. Safety Fair and uh, the Park Pride. Okay, Coming we'll be up. talking about that in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us. You're watching 726.